I think. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, Let me just do one thing, which is... You've hidden the chat again. Yeah. Hi. Um, Welcome to Jump On Music UK. This is How Do You Loop Live? But it's not just me, and actually it's not me who's going to be doing looping today. Um, We have a very special guest. Yeah, JP's wussed out. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, wussed out. Wussed out completely. I'm not doing, not doing it. I'm not no, doing no, today. I'm not playing today. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Piers Corley, to the stage, Hi. to the studio, well, to got the to be, room. Where are we? I've um, got to be careful about waving because your camera will go, ooh, yeah, I need to follow that. Yeah, so yeah, I said, don't yeah. Yeah. don't no, do so that. It's, it's disabled, so you don't have to All right. Yeah, so I've done that before. Have you um, done that thing with, with uh, when you're on Zoom or, if you, or FaceTime, when you do the thumbs up, up and it goes... <laughs> That's on one of my videos, actually. Um, yes. Hi. Um, so we've been having a good old chat this afternoon, and we are now live. What we're going to do is we decided um, to basically meet up. So I did mm. zero travelling, and Pierce has very, very, very kind Driven of... Driven from Doncaster, Doncaster to the Doncaster very to the western world. edges of the, the of the <laughs> north west. Three hours driving to get here. Um, I, can see, um, I can see Wales from here. Yes, you can. Um, and we basically decided to actually sort of like meet up, but also what we're looking to do as well is actually go through... Um, here's the setup, which is actually underneath us, and you can see right here. Yeah. Um, so we've got the Loopy Pro setup. This is what uh, Piers uses. If you're not familiar with uh, Piers' channel, go and have a look at his YouTube channel. Um, and does how do you, would you describe? Um, are we talking solo? Uh, yeah, I mean, singing? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a traditional unaccompanied folk singer. Unaccompanied folk singer. And oh, and one, and um, during lockdown, I really started to miss the sound of other people singing harmonies yeah. um, when you're singing a chorus and stuff yeah. like that. So um, I was starting to stream in the early days of lockdown and I got um, loopy so that I could sing choruses with myself <laughs> so, <laughs> so that I could, I could hear harmonies and I could harmonise with myself. Right. Um, and um, that, I think, in the early days, I was loopy pro wasn't out. No, so. HD. I was no, I wasn't using HD. I was using um, Augustus Loop, Augustus. which is a um, tape delay plugin that I was plugging into Logic Pro because I couldn't get on with Mainstage. I was using Logic Pro for because Mainstage. So the initial stuff for, for loops, I was using Augustus Loop, right? But it wasn't great for doing um, overdubbing choruses. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. and Mainstage doesn't have a built-in multi-track recorder. So I worked out how to use Logic as if it were Mainstage. Right. And then had sort of six pre-set up tracks. And I would sing the first chorus into track one, and then the second chorus into track two, and the third chorus into track three. And and by the time I'd finished the song, and I'd run out of harmonies to find anyway. <laughs> and um and then and then so then and then at the end of it I'd clear Logic down and do the do the same thing again. The problem with that is that um, that only really worked for recording choruses. Yeah. So yeah. if you've got a song that's um, just as straightforward, what shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we mm-hmm. do with a drunken sailor? Where well, that's just a chorus, but that's not the only style of um, harmony song and shanty that that exists. Right. So you've got um, the ones where it's um, uh, the last line of the verse is always the same, so it's kind of a pre-chorus, and everyone in a club, everyone joins in and harmonises with that. But right. when you repeat the chorus, you don't want to hear it again. Right, got you. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got the ones like um, um, lots of shanty forms where you you have a basically you have a call and a response, and then the chorus. Yeah. Um, uh, and and I couldn't do that either. So when hi Semtex, good to see you. Hello. Mate. So when um, Loopy Pro came along, and it let me set up, if you, um, I'll show you the other template that I have. It let me set up. Right. This is this is a just just so you're aware. Basically, underneath us, yes. Is, if you look down, is, is Pierce's um, setup, which is just along here. So we've connected the iPad onto into my computer, so we can see what's going yes. on. Just to give you that context. So so that then let me. Um, I initially. This is the. I this be is. At you. I be, I yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is this is the this is the this is the current version right, okay. of my template for Loopy. Yeah. And um, it's um, it's a bit refined because it used to have I used to have three or four different styles of chorus song. Right. 
Right, okay. And I had three or four pages on Loopy set up. Because in Loopy, you can have, as you can see, I've got a page for that and a page for that, and you can have many pages for different song structures and stuff like yes. that, and ways in which you want to loop. Right, okay. Um, and so when you've got, when I saw you using the thing with the APC where you'd got it set up, so it's kind of like your RC505s yeah. set up with a bunch of stuff, and you can... You can arrange Loopy to be whatever Loopy you want. Really. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, and so for this, I had them, so there were the, the various stuff. Recently, I've worked out with some of the stuff in the more recent versions of Loopy, this stuff over on this page that I'm not going to go into any details with, that allow that's me the to... That's secret stuff. That's, well, it's not secret, but it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit fiddly to be diving into in this. Yeah, Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, so that lets me have, so I can have, so I can have, um, uh, I can have this set up so that this button does um, when I've got a chorus that that's got. Um, I do a, a song called "Build Me a Cabin in Glory," okay. and the first time I sing the chorus, "Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of Glory Land," and the next time it'll be, "Yeah, build me a cabin in the corner of Glory Land." If that harmonised well, that's doing well because I'm not good at it in my ears at all. <laughs> but, my on, yeah. So I have that set up. So that the magic button goes for those sorts of choruses. I've got a thing called a pickup chorus. And then I have ones where the full chorus, I just want to loop automatically and not have to worry about it. I've got the ones where the last line of the song, um, I'm stepping through the thing at the bottom, you can see there. Uh, the last line of the song is repeated every time, but then yeah. you want the chorus to loop. And then there's the one where you've got the, the call response, pre-chorus chorus. So, so your magic button, that... That activates when you release, right? So that's a like the way yeah. you lift. Your well, finger. actually, weirdly, it activates when I both press and release. Okay. So I've got two steps on the thing. Oh, that's clever. So, so sometimes, not so much on this side. Sometimes I want to be to, to have that immediacy Bang. of it yeah. being on the press, and sometimes I want that thing of I'm, I'm holding this down, I'm letting it off at just the right moment. Yeah. So most of my actions happen on release. Right. But okay. there's there's. There's a different one where it's it's on it's on the press. That takes away the pressure from sort of like a bang at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like bar one, beat yeah, yeah. One. Like and and the, the timing, especially on the on the iPad screen, uh, Michael will tell you the timing is much more accurate. Yeah. For release really than it says. is for press. Yeah. Um, and then so basically, what's happening is if you look at this, um, uh, I can't show you, but the chorus manager. Um, yeah. thing here is the one that's managing that and when I, I choose one when I so when I choose pick up chorus you can see that it's gone to the beginning ah, right. yeah, and yeah, then yeah. when okay. I choose loop chorus it's, it's gone to the yeah. yeah and then every time so all that the button is doing all the magic button is doing is um, it's um, Ooh, actually it's, it's only working on release on this side it's just scrolling that step dial by one right got you and then when I reach the end where I want it to repeat it the step dial can adjust itself. And so it goes back to the step where I wanted to go back to. That's brilliant. Yeah. So that that's... Um, You've got stuff for double tap and long press. Yeah, yeah. Well. All sorts yeah. of other stuff available, but yeah. um, not really uh, what I... Oh, that's fantastic to hear, James. What's yeah. That? Let's have a look. I was actually... No, we've got the chat up, but uh, yeah, yeah. we need to actually address the I'm, chat. I'm looking... Hello, everyone. Um, Hello. So let's just have a quick look. Um, so, so text, hi. Um, hope you're okay. Um, Hank, um, I was thinking the other day that for me, Loopy Pro and Koala is yeah, yeah. as close to Ableton on iPad as you can get. Imagine needing for my use case for a phenomenally better value. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely it is. Um, James, what were we saying? Both your... Content has happened so much. Oh, thank you. I'm very glad. So much in my Loopy Pro journey. I'm still new to it, but just wanted to let you know. I appreciate everything you're doing. Cheers from Texas. Thank, thanks, James. You're welcome. No at all. That's great. I'm um, after this. Once I've finalised this, I'm going to do um, another couple of videos on how I do glitchy choruses and, and um, chorus songs again yeah. with the updated thing because it's quite changed quite a bit yeah. since the versions that are on online at the moment. Did you hear that? You just heard exclusive first. <laughs> <laughs> What's coming? To coming channel. coming soon, soon to a channel near you. <laughs> to Piers' channel near you. Um, mm. Cool. That's fantastic. So mm. we've dived in under the hood almost pretty much straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you use Loopy in quite a different way to the way I do. Yes. I, the yeah. way I use Loopy is I, I, I'm basically just trying to mimic um, a hardware looper like, yeah. you know, like a 505 or something like that. Whereas you're, you're using it for your use case. I know that sounds yes. really obvious, but it's more of a, 
this is what I need it to do, can it do yes. it? And you're building yeah, it yeah. around that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's it's more, for my, for my purpose, it's more powerful than logic was. Logic let me yeah. do an awful lot of what I wanted to do. Yeah. But this lets me do stuff. It lets me sound like I'm in a traditional folk club singing unaccompanied folk songs for an audience. That's brilliant. Because at the end of it, the chorus is built up and that's that's what that, that does. Yeah. Um, Pierce is actually saying a, a Pierce loopy tutorial uh, would go down yeah. well, I think. Um, uh, so, uh, sorry, I'm tempted to say that. Sorry. I'm so used to saying... Pierce says that. Pierce says that. <laughs> he's sitting right next to me. Yes, uh, so yes, he's yeah, he's saying usually, it all. Uh, usually I'm the fastest typist in chat. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sarcasm level on. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm trying, I'm trying to make him spit his water. It's, no, joking. It's only when your wobbly camera strikes. There we go. So, yeah. Um, so, before we carry on, um, obviously, there wouldn't be one of my my live streams without saying the following uh this live by distro kid there we go you got to say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah yeah it is it's sponsored by our friends over at distro kid which is a music distribution company now uh we've had a little bit of a chat about this haven't we yes. there is a little bit of controversy at the moment around streaming because there's a certain company who won't be named spotify who basically you can only get paid if you have a thousand streams or more however jp jp Oh, I wouldn't say fuck, no. All right, I will then. Um, so basically what... <laughs> Probably the first time I've ever said that. Um, <laughs> but basically with DistroKid, the thing is they can actually send it out to lots of different places. It doesn't just have to be Spotify. So we've got Apple Music, haven't we? we yeah, yeah. We listen to yeah. Apple um, Music. Apple Music is probably the highest royalty rate. Yeah, it is. Actually, Stream rate, I think. Like them and Tidal, I think, are the yeah, two... Them, Tidal. Are the two Amazon least awful. Music as well. Um, so you may actually... The thing is... I actually don't listen through Spotify anyway, but I know there's a lot of people who do. So the great thing is when you release something on DistroKid, it actually gives you what's called a hyperfollow page. So what that is, is the single page web page that you can give to your fans, your followers, and then they choose which service they want to listen to your music. However, if you are feeling, obviously, that you don't want your music on a certain platform, you can say, no, you don't have to put it on there oh, if that's you don't good. want to. So you don't have to put it to all of them. Um, so you can actually say, no, I don't want to put it on a specific platform. Anyway, the whole point is that, obviously, DistroKid can sponsor... Uh, can spo well, let me start again. DistroKid sponsor the live stream, but obviously can help you release music. Yep. So it's twenty two ninety nine for an entire year, and you get 7% off with that QR code, which has also just gone in the chat. Um, so give it a scan. Uh, and then that way, basically, you're helping me out, help the channel out, but also you'll get yourself ready for 2024 releases. And if, in case you're wondering why we're particularly annoyed with Spotify today, is they've recently changed their royalty terms that they won't pay anyone who has less than a thousand streams. Yes. So basically, you've got to have a thousand streams before you get paid with Spotify. But that also means there's two things. One, that can actually light a fire up your bum to actually get some marketing for your music. And maybe you can get way over a thousand streams anyway. Or obviously, if you don't want that to happen, you could always say, "I don't want to put my music on that platform." It's entirely up to you. We're not telling you to do one or the other. We have opinions about it, but uh, and they are strong. <laughs> <laughs> but um, obviously, everyone, if you've got a massive following who all use Spotify, then go for it by all means. You're yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. Hit that thousand streams, and it won't. And it won't be an issue. It won't be an yeah, issue yeah. at all. So anyway, thank you very and, much and, for sponsoring. And those of us on Spotify who don't hit a thousand streams will be will be subsidising you. So yeah. yeah, we'll be exactly we'll be helping you pay. So there we go. Um, Bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Bastards. Bastards. <laughs> Sound text, can you tell district kids to not send your music to Spotify? Yes. So what you do is when you upload a, um, vid a, a, a video, listen to me, YouTuber, um, when you upload a song on district kids, it then asks you which, uh, which places you want to put it. So it just ticks all by default, but you can just de-tick the ones you don't want. Um, so, for example, my latest, latest track, Stray, I told it not to put it on YouTube Music. Why? Because I've actually got tutorials that are around that music. You don't want to get hit, get hit by copyright strikes. I'll get, I'll get a copyright strike <laughs> for myself. So, uh, so YouTube Music does not have Stray um, without my say so. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can you can basically you can basically say whoever you want. Hey, I, mean, I get copyright hits. People claiming copyright when I'm singing songs that are 250, 300 years old. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's yeah, just yeah. <laughs> Wayfaring Stranger. Ed Sheeran did a version of it. Yeah. And um, his record label for a long time was trying to hit me for it. But he's like, no, 
No, I honestly didn't learn it from Ed fucking Sheeran, yeah, way, which is I admire the man. But the way the way I would look at that is basically if I've ever I do like um, I've had a couple of them when we've done it with like a looping, and I've done obviously uh, last year we did like Tuesday tunes, how to loop, um, um, and oh how do I loop? And uh, I've had copyright strikes when I've done it as a looper. So all I go is I must have got it right then. If you think that's, mm-hmm. that that sounds like the original, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. pretty happy about that. Um, I mean, and I, I love that at the time as well. When you're singing a song, you're singing it because you love it yeah. and you love the artist. And if they're getting the money from your performance, well, that's how copyright's supposed to work. Yeah. It's really annoying as a singer of traditional material when people try and hit me for traditional songs that are just 100, 200, 100, 200 years old. Yeah. And I don't, I've not even heard the version that I think you're, that you're claiming for if I even have a clue what version you're claiming for. Yeah. Uh, and at that Just point, how many it's... people have sung it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and hundreds of people have often sung it. And, I mean, there's... Then there's nightmares about things like the way that um, uh, uh, Mbube, Wimoway, yeah. got... There's, there's whole horror stories about the, the yeah. theft from Solomon Linda, who was the original performer of that. And the... Um, bastard uh, American music industry thing who added the um, the line about the king of the beasts sleeping uh, among the trees and claiming 100% of the copyright for the song. Yeah, when it was actually a coming from a traditional yeah, 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 song. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't know, even so traditional. No, it was it wasn't written. It was written, it's written by it? a person yeah. we know. Yeah. You know, we know who it was. The, 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 the situation has been resolved. Solomon Linda's family is now getting royalties for it. Yeah. But the chap who the, the the heirs of the chap who did put who wrote those words that I'm not going to repeat because fuck them, um, <laughs> are um, still claiming their their share of the royalties for that, no, and it's no, just no, it's horrible, so yeah. Don't sing those words if you're singing that tune. That's fair Just, enough. Um, yeah, there you go. Good advice. Um, the great thing as well is that there's a point in music history that a lot of people don't talk about, which also is how long your song is copyrighted for. Yeah. Um, and by default, it's actually 50 years. Now, that sounds like a long time, but if you go back 50 years from 2023, um, you're going back to 1970... Where are we? 1973. So think of all the songs in the 60s and the, and the early 70s, like Beatles and everything else. And of course, because the members of that are still alive, they can redo it. But once you're gone... 50 years is not a long time um, no. to then basically claim copyright on something else. So there is um, a talk about obviously them going up to 100 years. I don't think that's going to happen because um, it's one of those things. It's Mickey's still, f- copyright now. Yeah, it's yeah. pulling out of copyright. So it's still taking it, but the, 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 there must be some living or descending. Now, the great thing is the reason why I'm talking about that is because on District Kids specifically, with every single song, you can do what's called leave a legacy. Right. You hand it off to someone else. You you dictate that it's there. It stays there even after you've been deceased. Um, and it's basically your right that it's there. Mm-hmm. So that is something that's quite new, and it's something that obviously we don't really want to think about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah. you don't want to think about it. But at the same, but time, at the same time, it's a fantastic thing you know, that it's there. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, and, and I mean, it, it's that's the mechanical copyright because. If you wrote a song, yeah. your rights in the publishing... Oh, God. Just so depressing a lot of the time. <laughs> your, your rights as the, as the writer of the song or the, and the rights in your arrangement rather than the particular recording last for 70 years after your death. Yes. And But it's the rights of the mechanical particular recording is 50 years or 70 years. I can't yeah, remember. 50, 50 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, um, Cliff Richard was talking about re-recording all his early mm-hmm. stuff. It's like... Yeah. If you don't have the voice anymore, but um, I'm sure AI will help them. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> and, and then there's the whole Taylor Swift um, raising the middle digit to the uh, the chap who owns the rights to those the recordings. The reason yeah, she's so re-recording she's, she's a, her versions, or her yeah, story, yeah, yeah. And version. she still controls the sync rights, and she will not let anyone use any of the non Taylor's versions of stuff. Yeah. For in video, but they're happy to use the Taylor's version. Yeah, of course they are. Yeah, and I, I, I love the integrity of the woman. That not only has she done that, she's not. She's when she's revisited and re-recorded, she's not attempted to update or modify. She's gone and does it as near as damn it like the original recording. 
which I think is glorious. That's really, really good. Um, whilst we're also talking about that, my camera just decided, no, no, I do I do respond to waving. So I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm just going to change that right now. Um, so, oh, sorry, I waved at your camera. It's that's bad. Fine. I'm it very bad. You. It likes yeah, you. Yeah, that's yeah. right. It's okay. Um, so let's get back to what we were talking about. It's the beard. It's the it's beard. The beard. It's, yeah, yeah. it's the beard. The fabulous beard. Um, it it's is fab. Um, but I, I, I can't grow one like it's that. Great. It's, it's great. It's great. Occasionally, especially in summer, I've got a red t shirt. I sat there in my red t shirt with my braces on. And you'll see kids going, Santa? They don't. <laughs> they don't, but you can see him. So I've taken to just saying, I've just taken to saying, I'm not Santa. <coughs> and anyone who says I am goes on the naughty list. Yeah. And you watch their heads go, poof. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Fantastic. Love that. Santa's on holidays. <laughs> Nothing. Eat your ice cream nicely. Uh, oh, that creeps me. Um, fantastic. Um, let's go back over to mm. what we were talking about. Do you want to do us a favour and give us an example right, of okay. how you're using this? I'm going to turn my microphone off. Yeah, that's probably uh, a good for idea. The, uh, 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 for the health of everyone in the room. <laughs> um, and then uh, what Pierce is going to do is going to actually showcase this. So I'm going to, um, we're going to leave obviously his iPad up on the oh. screen below. So you can see as he's singing what he's doing. Right. So I'm going to do the, um, I'm going to show one of the, the standard chorus songs. This is, um, this is a sea shanty. Oh, the rain, it rains all day long. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. No, I've set it up wrong. Press the wrong button. This is why it's live. Only when it's live. These Only when it's live. Oh, yeah. I need to change those radio buttons over because that's the second time I've caught myself out with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the rain, it rains all day long. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. And them northern winds, they blow so strong. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear, oh. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear hero, bold Riley O has gone away. Oh, we're outward bound for the Bengal Bay. Bold Riley O, bold Riley. Get bending, me lads, tis a hell of a way. Bold Riley O has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear O. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear O. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Oh, the anchor's weighed and the sails are all set. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. And them Liverpool girls will not forget. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear O. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear O. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Ah, that rat. Oh, cheer up, Mary, don't look long. Bold Riley, oh, bold Riley. Come white stocking day, you'll be drinking rum. Bold Riley, oh, has gone away, sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear, oh, bold Riley, oh, bold. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear. Oh, 
Old Rhino has gone away. Oh, the rain, it rains all day long. Old Rhino, old Riley. And them northern winds, they blow so strong. Old Rhino has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear old Bold Riley, oh, Bold Riley. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye, my dear old Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Goodbye, my dear old. Bold Riley, oh, Bold Riley, goodbye, my darling, goodbye, my dear old, Bold Riley, oh, has gone away, Bold Riley, oh, has gone away. Pilot error, however, hasn't. <laughs> Well done. Oh, could you give me a little more in my cans as well, yeah, please? Yeah, of course, again. Right. Uh, I think that was fantastic, obviously, because <laughs> it's used in a very different way to how I use it. And I think yeah. it's always great just to see um, like how it kind of materialises. Mm. Um, one of the things as well is you've got to remember, if you're watching this obviously on the replay or if you're watching this live, is one thing you've got to remember is that um, Piers is doing this, obviously, without any clip track. There's no sort of backing track or anything like that. It's all a cappella. And even though you can see on Loopy on the top right-hand corner that there is a click sort of going round, 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 it's, it, you're ignoring it. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, no, you're yeah, not yeah. using it yeah. to, a, to a click track. Um, so that was really good. And I think the little... The end, like, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it, it sounded all right in the end, didn't yeah, it? <laughs> it good. It's quite good. Um, so yeah, so it's quite cool. So do us a favour. You've got this set up in such a way where obviously magic button is obviously and that, yeah, I, yeah. I kind of understand it a bit more now so you're recording um obviously holding down you, you in this instance you yeah, let yeah. go it records the first bit until a certain time now are you dictating the time when you uh, on the second bit so what happens is the first time through i'm setting the lengths right, right? and Got then it. um these t it doesn't look like it but chorus is a loop and uh, response and pre-chorus are one shots. Right, so the one shots. Okay, so, so that was what I was going to say. On the you. on the one shot setting, because I noticed because that's where the mistake obviously came in. That somewhere I, I forgot to stop the loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, Fair enough, it's, but that's okay. So I'm, yeah, so well, I'm also getting used to having the magic button for this particular song style. Fine. Because usually yeah. I'd, I'd self-pilot that, so it's um, <laughs> yeah. so this is this is a new template, and I'm um, I'm still getting the hang of it. So uh, what you can do is. Um, uh, they've got the option to auto count out the overdub of one shots, so, so that to means that. The record so, so so yeah, I can okay. do the. I will all hang on behind, and then when I do it again, I will it will hang on be stop at the end of the of that period. Right. And if I turn that off, then I turn it off, and then we'll we'll see. If I turn that off, where are we gone? Where are we gone? Yeah. Uh, auto count. Out. I will all hang on behind. And we'll all hang on behind and we'll roll the old chariot along, which is not necessarily what you want, really. It's useful for to, uh, it's useful for some people, which is why it's there as an option. It's a great um, option. I, th I think um, it's something I've not considered. Um, because I think you don't think of overdubbing one because your style is you've got lots and lots of loops and you just play them all at the same time. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's ironic that obviously when you see how you do your loops, yeah. you're not. They're not loops. You're doing them in phrases. Yeah. Yes. So it's very, very different. It's a very different style indeed. Um, and then I also noticed, obviously, what you've got is you've got the pre-chorus and then the chorus system. So go from pre-chorus to chorus. It just kicks in. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Got, so that so those two are connected. That somewhere. works by uh, we've got these things called follow actions. Right. Yeah. So down so, in the follow actions, when we finish recording. Record the um, or we can we can have it so it's on finish initial recording or finish the overdub. Yeah, that got added. Oh, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> that was a. <laughs> <there's>, <laughs> 
There's not much I do that, that needs that distinction, but it's really handy that it's there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, uh, so record is, doesn't care if it's the initial recording or the overdub, or you can have it so it only triggers on an initial record or only triggers on, a, on an overdub. Um, right, um, okay. So what that then does is it goes to uh, start recording. Straight, and of course it's and, instant because and it's, it's so instant. powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, away. yeah, and so it then flows straight in. Um, absolutely, Semtex. I love watching other people using Loopy. Um, Semtex is saying how fascinating how everyone uses Loopy differently. Yeah. And I love seeing what other people do. Uh, some of this stuff is from, uh, oh, God, what's his name? Edward... Um, Ed in the Loopy forums, he's been messing about with the um, with these um, uh, step dials and radio buttons. Yes, and making it do some really interesting things. And I've been nicking some of his ideas. That's great. Uh, and and I've, we've been swapping ideas about it. Yeah, because as a computer programmer, I think Loopy Pro has now reached the point where it's what's called Turing complete. You can make it execute an arbitrary program if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you just don't want to. No, just, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so that yeah, so so that's the, the 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 primary way that works. I am half tempted to turn chorus into a one shot all the time, right? But then that's a pain in the slightly a pain in the bum for kicking it off when you do the repeat chorus at the end. Because usually yeah, yeah, in yeah. in the traditional way in which a folk song is sung with a chorus in a in a folk club, as I'm sure you probably remember, as you go you go verse chorus verse chorus verse chorus chorus end. Yeah, so and you need to repeat that chorus yeah. at the end, yeah. or or people will look at you really strangely. They'll yeah. what? Hang on, does he not understand how these things work? Yeah. yeah. Um, so the, it's, the thing is, it was also to do with uh, basically in the clubhouses, you want to sing it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the audience yeah. can sing along. Yeah. So yeah, no, that's fine. And I mean, it, it, so it happens in pop songs as well. I mean, there's that yeah. um, you know um, first, first chorus, um, first chorus, one day like this, chorus. one day like this, that chorus repeats how many times oh, it fades yeah. out? Yeah. <laughs> or hey, dude, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, with um, yeah, with elbow, it's it's just yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it's an amazing piece. But uh, it's a, it's interesting because that obviously is completely different chord structure to the actual rest of the song. Right. Yeah. So, so you've that, got the you've, you've got but you've still got the D going dun 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 all the way through. Yeah. The whole song, but even but, it, the, but it, the chords are different. It's um, in a different chord context in verse yeah, and chorus. It, which is right, a fact, yeah. makes it a fact clever. Song, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Song. Um, so if you're not familiar what we're talking about, we're talking about um, the uh, One Day Like This by Elbow. Uh, it's one of my most favourite songs ever. Um, and um, if check you do... out JP's looping of it because it's oh, thank you. It's um, so I'd have a video about that delicious. and also show you how to break it down and stuff as well. Um, so if you've just joined us, basically what we're doing is we're talking to the fabulous Piers Corley, uh, who you may have seen on the live stream uh, via text only, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we now has decided to travel... spamming you all with walls of text. Yeah, yes, and decided to actually travel the country, literally. Uh, from Doncaster to here on the world to actually come and speak to me. I don't um, think I've, I don't think I've saved on postage. No, I don't think you have. <laughs> no, um, I've got to post it back yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the reason also we wanted to obviously catch up as well is because obviously we talk about Loopy Pro. Uh, obviously, if if you're a fan fan of the channel, you know that I do a series on Loopy Pro, and um, Pierce uses it in a very different way, um, and and it's and it's clear and abundant now how very different it is. If you have just joined us, then obviously this will be available on the repeat as well. But you can see underneath us is Loopy Pro. Uh, this is Piers' iPad, not mine. Um, and therefore, basically, just obviously coming in and showcasing what he does with it and how he does with it. Yeah. Go through these circles, these four circles underneath. Explain right. Explain this to me. So, um, pick up chorus is when you've got a chorus song where... There's a there's a there's a pickup. There's the, there's the you know the, the the main note the main line of the chorus starts on the one. Yeah. But there's a there's a there's a thing coming in, and right. very often in the style of songs in which I sing. Da, da, da. Yeah, like, but da, da, da. but it's it's Bam. not so it's not just that because I don't care about barring. Yes, in of this you know because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but the issue is I'll, I'll I'll sing a couple of verses of of, yeah, of a thing. Right. So, one second. Yeah. Let me put the mouse down and put the headphones on. So, right, okay, so. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land, in the shade of the tree of life that it may ever stand, where I can just hear those angels sing and shake Jesus' hand. 
Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. Many years I've been searching for a place to call home, but I failed here to find it, so I must travel on. I don't care for fine mansions in a sinking sand. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. Yeah, build me just a cabin in the corner of glory land. In the shade of the tree of life that it may ever stand Where I can just hear those angels sing and shake Jesus' hand Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land So, first time through it's Lord clap, clap, Second clap, clap, time clap, everyone, that was really, really nice Second time through it's Yeah Yeah, yeah So, yeah, yeah. you don't want you know, if, if, you, if, you, if I was doing that um, If I was doing that on Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. And then next time through. Lord, yeah, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. Build me. And it, so it just sounds weird. So you want that option to, to just have it start on the, on the downbeat or on the after the sort of slightly ad lib word. Yeah. Took me ages to work that one out. <laughs> yeah, but it did, yeah. Because for, well, not ages. But it was uh, for a while. I was sort of thinking, "Oh, well, I just can't do those choruses." And then, then it clicked because the problem then is the repeat. Yes, right. Because but now, not, by making it a one shot, yeah. by making a one shot, because I've got that that word that changes, I've got time to then press the start again yeah. when when I do the repeat at the end. This is the point where you zoom in on my face while I'm calculating what the hell he's talking about. I'm just going to go. Yes. No, I get right, it. Okay. I mean, yeah. No, I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then loop chorus is is that. Um, it's it's just looping the chorus. Yeah, I keep I'm, I'm, I'm ignoring the magic button and just pressing directly on the things now. Um, then uh, response pre is the Bold Riley thing that you heard. Yes, me, you do. And then uh, pre pre stroke chorus would be something like. Um, a drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind. And we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. And we'll all hang on behind. And a chat with JP wouldn't do us any harm a yeah. hey, chat with jp wouldn't do us any harm a hey, chat with jp wouldn't do us any harm and, and we'll all hang on, on behind and, and we'll roll the old chariot along we'll roll the old chariot along we'll roll the old chariot along and we'll all hang on behind so that's perfect pre-chorus and then and that so that's all for that's all four versions of that. <laughs> Some text just gone. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. Um, so that's really clever. So basically, then, as you hit the magic button, you've got it set pre course. It's going to record on the pre course first, yep. not the first one shot that you've yes. got. The second one, that's really, really cool. Um, you've got your panning there as well, obviously. Oh, yeah. Pan oh, yeah. Yeah, um, that's now, my we'll latest talk, fancy thing. We'll, yeah, we'll yeah. talk about that in a minute. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take these headphones off again because they're actually quite heavy. Mm. Um, so. I have a question, which is this is this is me being really pedantic and a pain yeah, yeah. in the ass. Yeah, yeah. Which is why don't you use circles for songs like that? Um why don't you why don't you have a different preset for every other song or you have a you go, well this song's like this and this song's like that. Or is this a kind of like one one build suits all for you? For me, this build suits ninety nine percent of the songs I sing. Right. Um the reason I don't have four pages for it is I'm a computer programmer and we value <laughs> compactness. Yeah. You know, so... so Efficiency. Efficiency. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm not sure it actually is efficient. It's more of a pain in the ass to set up. <laughs> but, it, <laughs> but it just works. Yeah. And now it's there and it works. And it, 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 I don't have to... I don't have to... And when I'm planning on taking it to open mics, mm. it becomes an issue. Because that the great thing about this having that one button is I don't have to tap dance while I'm performing. Yeah. So I don't have to remember, oh Christ, so whereabouts am I now? Do, which button do I press? Yeah, yeah. I've got, yeah. you know, I've got the FS6 or something similar in front of me. Yeah. And I can just keep tapping the B button. 
Because it's the magic button. Because it's the magic button and it does the thing for So me. as long as you've got the circles that you've designed set up in the right yeah, yeah. way, it's going to record in the right order. Yeah, yeah. And you just yeah. press the magic yeah. button and then yeah. that's it. Although, as we, we noticed earlier, and I went back to an earlier version of Loopy, yes. because of an issue that turned out that that had broken the way certain other things worked, yeah. so I had to come back to it. That was the, this was, that was the pre-show that we didn't the show we live were, with at all. <laughs> which was, that's, we had quite a few technical issues. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, that, yeah, fair enough. Um Okay, so that's fine. So then, what's you've you've also got obviously different scenes, and you've shown obviously the the dial. What's on A? You've got what's a, on B, A? C. A is this is set up for essentially one song right. in my repertoire. Right. There's okay. there's a couple that I do. There's another one that I do. I see loops. This, I see this, loops here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, they actually loops. got loops. <laughs> so you you want me to show this one off to you? Yeah, yeah, go on. Okay, so on. before you show it off, we've got. Um, We've got a green loop where we've got a blue loop. We've got two different faders. We've got the magic button again. We've got reset. Yeah, we've yeah. got uh, times two. Uh, I can't read that. Right. Uh, uh, one eighth off. OD. Okay. Which is overdub. Uh, and one eighth replace. One eighth. Ah, yeah, there we go. And this so. is um, the pan. And this is where it gets put when it's being recorded. Rather than you, if you, if you, when you're listening to my voice. Yeah. On a monitor, it will still be in the center of your of the audio field, yeah. but what's getting but that will be put potentially in a different place, right? On the pan, because this, 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 this is the one where we is that you have to quote me on this. This is the one where we say, if you've got headphones, wear them now, yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. If you've got if you're listening on headphones, you're in now, now is the treat. time for the headphones, the, yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah. um, you're gonna hear um, panning in quite a very unique yeah. way. So, so, um, I, shut up now. I, I can potentially. <laughs> Explaining it might be fun, but I can show you how I do the magic panning. Do the but, magic uh, first. We'll do the magic. We'll I'll show the magic yeah, off. Show yeah, the, okay. Show um, the trick and then we'll reveal it. <laughs> show the trick and then we'll reveal it. I am a poor wayfaring stranger Journeying through this world of woe But there's no sickness, toil, no danger In that bright land to which I go I'm going there to see my father I'm going there to know. I am just going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. I know dark clouds will gather on me. I know my way is rough and steep. You just feel my just before me. Where God's redeemed, where the Jews go. I'm going there to meet my mother. She said she'll meet me when I call. I am just going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. I want to wait. That crown of glory when I come home in that bright land. I want to shout salvation story in concert with that blood washed band. I'm going there to meet my Savior to sing his praise forevermore. I am just going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. I'm going there to meet my Savior, to sing his praise forevermore. I am just going. 
going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. 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 Or wayfaring stranger. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the most annoying thing in the world is he deleted it before I got a chance to talk about it. <laughs> oh. Wow. That, well, it's looping. If you, if you haven't, if you, you've got to come in barehanded you, and leave barehanded. If you cut, well, yeah, that's that's the magic trick right there. If you've if you've watched this on the replay, then wind it back and just listen on headphones if you haven't. Just get the opportunity. To listen to what that blue loop was doing. That was fabulous. <laughs> and what I really like about it as well is just so quick um, with building the loop up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to the point that um, we were we were testing some audio before we went live and you did this. Um, and I just said, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I went, he didn't do that before. <laughs> and it's part of the loop. It's part of the... Yeah, the, yeah. Like, so Never the same twice. I love yeah, it. And it's, yeah, that's it. It's great. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so just to obviously clarify, when that was going through... Just so you guys understand what's going on, because of course you can't see, you can see the the, the screen. So I hope you picked up on it that um, all Pierce was doing, in, I say all Pierce was doing, all Pierce was doing basically was pressing the magic button. Most of the most time, of there the were a time, couple of times, yeah, yeah, a couple of times. So most of the time it was kicking in, and it was pe- picking a pan on the bottom right hand corner yeah, yeah. there, yeah. and recording it in that pan for a split second, and then bringing yeah, yeah. it back again. It was really clever. So there we go. So ah, now uh, you've piqued Sam Tex's interest. Um, <laughs> ah, right. And then reset. Well, there's 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 several things to this, to, this to is, talk this about is, with this you one. You said to before the magic. Now this is the magic trick. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to shut up again. So the magic trick is this. This is um, my rack. My rack is a um, a modular. Synthesizer That's simulator. MI, by the way, if you can see that, hopefully um, you can see that. It's Please free. Control. It's free, which is well worth knowing about. Um, it's a modular synthesizer. So what I've got is I'm just using it for MIDI control in this particular instance, right? So what I've got is um, MIDI in. So when it gets C2, it triggers. So um, let's just bring that there. So I, I'm not even bothering with the sync because I don't need it. So when it hears C2... The uh, the thing triggers. You can see the lights going on. By the way, just just have a look when 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 Pierce presses C two. Look at the uh, look at the recording pan now on the right on the yeah, bottom yeah. right hand side. See where it's changed. Yeah. And then it, and, goes, and it snaps back when he and then over. and then when I let it go and it changes to different pan levels. So you're pressing the same note. Same note. And it's deciding. What, so what's happening? Is what's randomly? happening is that this um uh this thing here is a is a oh god. This what thing, this, thing here, is this module, <laughs> this this module here, yeah. is a sample and hold module, and what right. a sample and hold module does is it takes the reading at its input, yeah, and at, at the point when you send it a trigger, yeah, and sends that level out. But if it doesn't have an input, it sets a random thing from a white samples from white noise. And sets a voltage like out like that. Yeah. So it, it has a range between. Um, so it's it's a run. It's 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 you're using it like a randomizer. Yes. So it's sending okay. out a range between plus and minus five volts. Right. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. It's yeah, 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 modular yeah, yeah. synthesis. Pain in the ass. Uh, and these are control voltages. And that then goes into a um, a voltage controlled amplifier. Right. Okay. Which is essentially a gate. So when the voltage control amplifier gets a signal from C2, again, you can see the wire. Yeah. You can see that wire there yeah. going into its control voltage. Then it goes, okay, I'm going to pass 100% of what I'm receiving through to the next um, controller. Right. Okay? Yeah, okay. And then so far. And that goes into um that goes into this uh constant add multiplier, which first of all multiplies it by two, because otherwise you end up with this really narrow pan range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then it goes from the output of that to... Um, uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, oh, it's multiplying by two later. I can't remember exactly which. Oh, yeah. It's multiplied by two and then goes out from, from its multiply by two. It's then the A input for, this, for an adder, which adds five volts to it. Right, okay. So now zero, i.e. center pan, yeah. is halfway between zero and 10 volts. Right, okay. Which the MIDI CC output reads as being... Halfway between zero and one two seven, right? So, so sixty four, slightly ish. Yeah, and so what that then does? So when there's no signal going, it's nailed to five volts, which is the center of the pan. And right. when there's a signal, what's happening is the random value that we're getting instead is being sent to that CC. Jesus. And when I let it go again, this gate closes, and, and it goes, goes back, back to five to volts. So you're using voltage, well, you're using simulated voltage yes. as a calculation to randomise the panning. Yes. However... Jesus. <laughs> um, Piers, please build a logic controller out of... A as, there is oh, at yeah, least... Pa- 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 Piers, build a logic controller there is, out of a module. Absolutely. Thing. There is at least one yes. video game where you are saving civilization by using modular synthesis principles to control... <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it's yeah. very silly because um, the, 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 the basic principle, it's signal processing and it's, it's usually when you're doing this, you, you're using it to make weird sounds. Yeah, of course. In this particular instance, voltage equals I mean, I could, waves or, yeah. I could use one of the MIDI scripting things that's available, but they cost money and this is free. <laughs> <laughs> and it's much more fun for people and to not realise what you've been it's doing. It's satisfying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, pa- this patch is, cool. called, is called the Pandemizer. <laughs> the pandemizer. The pandemizer. Yeah. yeah, I'll be back. Um, yeah, I'll be back to center. Um, <laughs> that's really good. That's cool. So yeah, you're, so you. I just worked out how to do that. Ooh, a couple of days ago. So right. I'm really okay. pleased so, with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also fresh in your head as well. Yeah, yeah. So what's happening with obviously the green loop was the the, the drums. And yeah, you've got, yeah. You've got a heavy reverb. It sounds yeah, yeah. Like on there. Yeah. Um, and then your your green and blue bars. Uh, green and blue bars is is just the volume of the beats. Yeah. The volume of the drones, yeah, and the feedback. The feedback. The feedback. So, so if we um, let's have that thing about. Um, um, so when I put the drone down, when you record, mm. what happens is when the feedback is at a hundred, what goes on to the loop when you're overdubbing is one hundred percent of what was there. Oh, feedback plus like, your thing. Yeah, like feedback no, decay, decay. Decay. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay, Whereas maybe, when it's yeah. at fifty percent, it's fifty percent of what was there. Plus what you've just performed, just sung. So this is actually so, going back to the old loopers, which yeah, actually yeah. used to do this, yeah, where yeah. they weren't actually as powerful. They were actually very clever delay units, and you'd have a hundred percent feedback, and therefore it would be a looper. And if you pulled it down to like ninety-eight yeah, yeah. percent, yeah. as you added another one, it so I mean, just it's basically. It um, yeah. um, uh, uh, that was my first looper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the name? Um, the, the the little bastard. Yes. We bastard, yeah, yeah, yeah. Katie yeah. Tunstall's uh, We bastard. bastard, which is yeah, yeah. the Akai Headrush E2, yeah. uh, as it's known. And, and feedback uh, is is great for um, for kind of frippertronicsy type stuff, but also so when I'm doing that, um, so I'll try and do the magic loop without using the magic to put the drones down. Okay. So so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. As yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, so what happens is basically I record two bars. Of, um, uh, of of a drone, yeah. yeah. And I've, I'm not going to use the drum. I'm not going to use the beats. So I'm just going to set up. A... With Loopy Pro, by the way, Loopy Pro. Obviously, we've done a whole series on it, and you can obviously build your own looper. And I've even did a live stream where you build a looper. But yeah, what you need to look at underneath here is whenever you see something light up, that's when Piers is touching it yes. and actually pressing the button. It's so really look... annoying. We can't show that. You can't. The there is just, there yeah. is a version that that there, there is a debugging scene. Available that shows the touches. Yeah, I've not quite worked touches. out how to turn it on. With Can't the... do that live, unfortunately. Yeah. You yeah. Do it in, in a post editing. So, yeah. so what I'm, what I, what the magic does. Let's let's try and um, replicate the magic. What does the magic uh, do? What does, the, what does the magic do? <laughs> um, I'm not going to be able to replicate the magic quite because. Let me get this right. Um, hang on a minute. Um, I'm going to be naughty. 
So let's just... Well, while he's being naughty, and he's actually fiddling something, by the way, um, Semtex says, using it to make a control voltage, we're not worthy, we suck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> whilst we're doing that, it's a good interjection to say this live stream is sponsored. It's sponsored by our friends over at DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution company, so if you've got songs that you want to put out there in the world, uh, then DistroKid can help you. Now, if you want to actually just rock up to Amazon Music or Spotify or Apple Music, you can't just do that. You need a music distributor to give them your songs. So you can actually put your songs to DistroKid and they'll send it out to whoever you want to. They don't have to send it out to everywhere. We've discussed this before. You can choose who basically you want to actually do. Um, and with this link, which is basically gone in the chat, it's also in the description box below. It's also that QR code. You get 7% off your first annual membership because other music distributors charge you every time you release some music. But DistroKid charge you one price per year which starts at $22.99 and with that code you get 7% off. Um, so thank you very much to District Kid for sponsoring this live stream. Um, my, my friend, uh, my, my good friend to, to, my, to my left looks like he's ready. Um, <laughs> so um, thank you very much. Uh, so that's obviously got in there and there we go. So uh, Right, what have you done? So what we've done is I've got this button that, re that replaces on an eighth and it's quantized on the eighth. And then it so it starts recording. So this is the only track really that you actually you are actually using a BPM and loops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. yeah, yeah. And I don't know what the B, I'm, I'm setting a BPM here because I'm being lazy and I don't want to record a drum beat <laughs> and, and distract from what the rest of this is doing. Basically, um, this is set so um, I've kind of reversed the way in which things normally work on the gestures. So um, so a single tap um, will start recording rather than start play. Right. And a two finger tap will start play rather than start recording, because um, right. that's the way I prefer to work. Okay. <laughs> so, so basically, I've reversed the default behaviour of those buttons. Okay. So, so that that's set up. So what I'm going to do is I then, um, and this is um, set to a, a, a version of the overdub of the of the, sorry of the replace that is quantized to an eighth. But it's not going to mess with the pan, right? So it's because when I set the um, so that's the I button in the top right hand corner. That's yeah. Uh, replace no pan. Yeah, so the thing that controls that. magic, yeah, is going record two bars, yeah, then record on the one and the three, panned hard left, right, two eighths, then record on the um, two and the four, four, panned hard right, yeah, two more eighths, right, okay. So that then sets me up for the for then the eighth overdubs, which the the magic will then from then on magic does eighth overdubs. Yes. Right. So. With you. So what I can do is. And that's got my. And that's got my. Uh, and that's got. Let's do that properly. No, let's do that properly, properly. Right. So now I've got a basic drum. Okay. So now I pan hard left and hit these on the one before. I missed it. That's not working as I expected to. And my undo's undo has stopped working. But you can hear yeah. it's hard pan. Yeah, yeah. Um, music is going to stop for a second, and we're going to lose all our vocals because I'm going to restart Loopy. Because it's being... Actually, it might be able to get away with um, loading a different project. Uh, I have to save that, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm going to save that. Uh, save that <laughs> and then load load a different project and load this one back. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Hopefully. Two, two, two. Yep. Yeah, um, that, I love that. That's quite funny. That's basically it. JP's face, same here. Blown <laughs> mind, blown mind. Mind's blown. Absolutely. The, right. the, the detail that this man has gone into to make these Tell you what, sessions is incredible. JP, start singing that drone. 
So now we're panning hard left. Pan hard right. It's lost the quantization. That's not working right. some stuff and that was where it was quantized. Yeah. And there we go. And that's essentially what magic's doing. So I've programmed it so I don't have to get my timing quite so perfect. for the rest of the song when you're adding in all the different parts then you're getting all this this part and then when you add on then or you you're take you I say add on the decay but you're you're reducing the decay um further along along in the song yes you're getting all these different layers so of yeah the, sound. the idea is to because I start doing two, that when two, I'm two. repeating that I'm only going over home and eventually that if I get it right, dominate. Well, no, it's not. It's not doing the mucking about. But yeah, yeah. eventually, that then dominates the pre-existing zone, drone, drone, because the drone is fading out. So if I'm setting yeah. feedback to that, then that yeah, drone yeah. is going to going to disappear. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Um, and um, uh, and then I can just do the pull the volume down to fade it out completely as but I that, sing the extended last little bit. But it's almost like um, we had this conversation earlier on around about um, obviously sort of having. Um, a song on a loop and then being limited, reducing that to nothing and then being filled yeah, yeah. up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. a version of this that. This is a different, yes. It's, it's, it's basically because obviously you're reducing it down. It, the, the drone is leaving and it's being replaced by something yes, else. Yes. And, and that's, that's, that was the old, that is, that is if you're, if it's you're like an old delay pedal. Yeah, it's an old delay yeah, pedal. Yeah. It's the old school of looping um, and or, or, or fancy delay pedal that you could, you know, could have, um, feed, you could adjust the feedback. Mm. Um, and it's just bringing that back, but in a really modern way, but yeah, also yeah. with the quantize. It's really, really fun. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, I, 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 um, I kind of got the inspiration for the quantize messing about from uh, one of um, Andre Lafosse's videos showing off the stupid things you can do with the glue glue lupe. Yeah. Which is just an amazing, it's one loop, but oh my God, the ways in which you can manipulate that loop. And, and he plays this lovely percussive guitar work and, and builds up these amazing percussive uh, ambient guitar loops. And nice. It's got all sorts of capabilities that this doesn't have because it's coming from... Because there's kind of two traditions in looping. There's the um, the boss loop station yeah, yeah. style, yeah. which is all about conventional song structure, and I mean, they they were originally came up with for sort of primarily practice pedals, weren't they? Almost? Yeah, yeah. They and, were basically they 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 derived from delays. So yeah, obviously, yeah. It a delay yeah. pedal that you could just repeat yourself. And people people discovered that are really nice to practice jamming against and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then um, a subset of those people went, "Hey, do you know what? We can use that to make new music." Yeah. And I mean, the classic example, the one that sort of opened everyone's mind was was J T. Tun uh, Katie Tunstall's. Black Horse and a Cherry Tree. Yeah, yeah, and that was that was a that was a thing she was sort of doing in practice as, a, as a, almost as a rehearsal piece. Yeah, for yeah. quite some time before the before that amazing later performance. Yeah, the later performance, is which what is which, introduced me to it, which I discovered on the first pressing of the LPs. It's the later performance because she'd not recorded it in the studio. 
Oh, I didn't know that. So okay. they used the, right. they used the, 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 the if you get the pr first pressing of her album, yeah. that that version of Black Horse and the Cherry Tree is the live performance from later, later with Jules Holland. Oh, really? So it's just it's, a recording from later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, That's interesting. And and um, but then you've also got. The sort of tape loop stuff that's in Tomorrow Never Knows, the Beatles, yeah. where they were literally having, you know, holding tape. pencils at the far yeah. end, putting tension on it. Yeah. And then Robert Fripp started messing yeah. about with it. It's yeah. sort of become known as Frippatronics. And they're doing all sorts of things with playing with tape, with um, all sorts of stuff. And the, the Echoplex Digital is kind of the... the the sort of ur pedal of that style yeah. of that frippertronic yeah. style, and that has things like you can you can insert extra beats into your loop, and all sorts of yeah. stuff like that. And the Gluglu Lupe is definitely in that tradition, where it's one loop being fucked about with like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, yeah. Because you um, said earlier to me, like uh, we were talking earlier, that yeah, with that one you could, you, which my mind can't think of. Yeah, it's got this infinite reverse it's, thing that's it's just got an mind blowing. Reverse thing where basically it reverses everything, and then it reverses how you put it. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. So it. It's not just a peel, it's actually taking it off in reverse yes. as well. It's, it's, it's winding the tape back and removing all the recordings that you added to it in the process of getting the to the point where you, you hit reverse. It. Well, in the reverse order that you did it. Yeah. It's, I do not know how it's implemented, but I am just... My, it's just... That's and cool. Andre Lafosse's videos introducing the Glue Lupe, just the, the, the sheer... Rate of mind blown moments <laughs> at, at, of watching him do this. It's just. I think I'll have to watch this video alone in a dark room because <laughs> uh, although I, I not speak to my family for a week, it's, it might, it's also a very dangerous video by the sound of it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. sounds like it's. Uh, and he's doing things like uh, change the way I look at Loopy forever. So he'll because the other thing that this doesn't the, the the Loopy Pro lets you reverse the loop. Yeah, yeah, of course. But what it doesn't do. Is what the old school tape reverb tape tape things do. It won't let you record while the loop's in reverse. Yeah. And then when you put the loop to forward again, the bit you recorded should be in, in reverse, reverse yeah. but it isn't. Well, and you can do that on um, desktop loopers and yeah, yeah. tabletop loopers. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, one of these days it'll be in there. Michael, sort <laughs> it. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think Loopy Pro basically is just. Uh, it, oh yeah, it, it and while it's, it's doing amazing. that reverse, that infinite reverse thing, you can overdub into it. <laughs> what? It's How just, can you overdub into something? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I just blew, it just blew my mind when LaFosse was showing YouTube it off. YouTube is just basically <laughs> watching two uh, again, middle-aged men completely blow each other's minds with looping. It's um, a 700 what? quid loop pedal that wow. has one loop. Um, a lot of loop. We're now being asked, can you share these videos you're quoting? Um well, we'll do I'll, this. I'll, uh, I'll send JP links and right. link, put them in the, in the or, description. Or, or, go, yeah, yeah. or go to his... That's a nice thing. Go to his channel. Go yeah, yeah, on Friday. I'm, I'm, I'm streaming live um, on Friday at 8pm. So so, every Friday. Piers so, is streaming um, live Friday God, at 8pm. I did self-promotion. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh, God. It's, I, I mean, oh. it's rubbing off on you. Do you want, do you want a How's Your Loop t-shirt? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, um, have you got one big enough? <laughs> oh, bless your <laughs> Um... So go to his channel, um, and then uh, what was it? Friday at eight. Friday um, eight every Friday. Every Friday um, eight o'clock, and then and basically we can, we next can... week I've got a guest, um, a couple Ooh. of uh, American uh, filk singers. Have you come across filk? Filk. Filk. Filk is the folk music of science fiction fans. Oh, filk and hell. Yeah, <laughs> and, and they do. Um, they write, you know, <laughs> traditional songs about Cthulhu and Star Trek, <laughs> and Excellent. it's. It's enormously good fun. They, they, um, um, oh, I'm going to have to watch this now. Yeah, yeah. The, and the, the UK Filk Convention is the first weekend in, in, um, in February. And I'm kind of like, I, I'm not really a Filk singer. It's my, I'm a folk singer yeah. who, who hangs out with Filkers. The only catch is so I miss, have... you just misspelt. I, I have actually written a song that's won a Filk Award. So oh, really? I, can't, right. I, can't, I can't quite deny that I'm a Filker these days. No, it's but, um and they are they are kind of like there are science fiction fans often look down on them almost as much as they look down on furry just lovely people having a great time because oh, this is the thing that um that i i mean i i, I always say there is no feeling better mm. than singing in company that you can do in public with your clothes on <laughs> um and Filkers are just doing that, you know. They're, they're yeah. having the pleasure of singing together and not caring about um, 
about whether it's commercially viable or any of that shit. They're doing it because <laughs> they love it. And I, 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 I cannot Sounds think awesome. of a better reason for making music, to be no, honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, and um, so in that, in that regard, I, 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 I think they're great. But, but there are, oh, God, science fiction fans get positively savage about them. And it's just like, oh, yeah, very get defensive. over yourself. Very defensive, say. very defensive. Um, um, so I have a question for you. Yeah, sure. Um, regarding your setup and what you do, where is it heading? What's the what's the future for this? For obviously, a doing this on a live stream at home, mm-hmm. and b doing it live, like going mm. out to a venue with you know other humans. And yeah, how, yeah. how do you? Because you said to me earlier on, and we didn't discuss this. We actually should have started earlier, but um, you said you don't want loopy pro actually funnily enough in front of you no. while you're performing no. live you'd like it off to one side yeah, yeah. so so how are you going to be able to do magic button and everything else that you do if it's nowhere near you well the great it doesn't have to be in in, in part i still need it within reach because i still yeah. need to be able to do that yeah you know but and, you, and do you, you just need to do that before song then, before a song so i can do yeah. it while i'm while i'm interested so this can sit over there yeah and then i've got a uh, soft step two, which is a uh, MIDI foot pedal, but I mean, you soft know, step two, yeah. any yeah. any any MIDI fit foot pedal, um, I can map that magic button mm. to one of the controls, Just to, to one of the my, pedals where my um, MIDI pedal is. There, uh, yeah, but so uh, so that is yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, something like that. <coughs> that's, that's a MIDI pedal. That's um, <coughs> uh, basically like a wireless one, which is quite yeah. good for iPads because it can actually do. Um, uh, so I mean, MIDI, but also can HID. We, can we? Um, yeah, we can. Uh, so HID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or HID, which everyone do. Right. Okay. So, so if, you, if you do HID, it's going to pick up like letters and numbers. If you do, MIDI, yeah, yeah, but that's that's all right. But now, you it as MIDI, now you can I can numbers. bind to, I can bind to keyboard controls. So HID oh, yeah. is fine. Yeah. Um, so um, uh, so assuming you just, you need it's to do that. Yeah, and now it's going to find. So you need to go uh, to Bluetooth devices at the bottom. Oh right, yeah, okay. No, 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 there, yeah, Don't, not in, yeah. There it is. Yep. Connecting. It is that simple. I and pair with that, it. and that's it done. So now, what so I can do, I think, which one's which. <laughs> if I go to MIDI Learn, tap that, and tap that. So, yeah. uh, and that's on the release, which is fine. Yeah. So now. Uh, so what did you pair your magic button? I just paired my magic button. Okay. So now I'm a child of the library. It made me who I am. It taught me about freedom and the fellowship of my... ah. I thought I bound it on release, but it's playing silly sods. So let's just get that right. I'm a child of the library, it made me who I am. It taught me about freedom and the fellowship of man. A sea of story waits for you behind the library door. Don't say we can't afford it anymore. The library's where I've made some friends I've known my whole life through. The walkers. The walkers and the blackets and the pevens is so true. Simp the canine cannonball, Galadriel the fair. The daughter of a pirate king and Paddington the bear. I'm a child of the library, it made me who I am. It taught me about freedom and the fellowship of man. A seer story waits for you behind the library door. Don't say we can't afford it anymore. So then I'm hands free. There you go. That, yeah. How easy was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God, we should be making a short of that to show it off for Michael, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> that was really, really easy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I'll, I'll grab the live stream later on. I'll make sure yeah, of that. Yeah. Um, that's really cool. So obviously something like that, really simple. Just remember to obviously unbind that later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll come back to be like, why is it pressing why is, R? Why is I don't it? want it to press yeah, R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's not the Bluetooth, just the, uh, just your just your MIDI learn. Uh, yeah, and no, I, I need to uh, control settings, and uh, it should it should disappear. Uh, yeah, it has. I just I wanted to. Um, which, which one did it go into? I've got the horrible feeling it went into. Keyboard R, yeah. Let's just uh, delete that. There you go. Clear that, and that will then remove keyboard from my. So yeah, that's, so um, that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. the thing is, this is a great way to obviously. I don't know what got the headphones for. 
Um, th- th- this is because the- I keep breaking out into song, and you want to hear what I'm doing on the yes, road, I do. But- absolutely. Um, so obviously, the idea there would be obviously this would be sort of off to one side, so you can get yeah. it ready, yeah. and then you obviously you're kind of like present with the audience. Mm. So there's not this kind of like um, disconnection yeah, yeah. between you and the audience. Yeah. Right? I mean, as an as my normal mode of performing in folk clubs before this would be, you know, wouldn't have this in the way, wouldn't have any of that. It yeah. would be, oh, the times that there I spent. There'd be no microphone, there'd be nothing between me and the audience. No microphone, nothing between me and the audience. Yeah. And I'm comfortable with that, and I'm comfortable hand-holding the mic. Yeah. Uh, and I find the mic... Um, if I'm conscious of it, feels like it's something in the way anyway, which is why I'd rather have it off the stand. Yeah, right. I, just, okay, I don't yeah, want yeah. the stand in front of me. It's just, I'm, I'm, it's, it's weird. I I'll know. Take it away if you want. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 don't. In this context, it's fine. It is, yeah, yeah. But yeah. in a live performance context, I, yeah. I want people to see me in all my twenty-five stone glory. It's not twenty-five stone glory, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm, um, and I, 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 um, I see people who are. Sometimes in open mics who try to hide behind a mic stand. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. no, just be there. Be out mm. there. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. And part of that thing is to just not have those things in the way. There's many, many, I, there's many artists who just hide behind a guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, oh, or absolutely. Keyboard, but I've got a, a, gu- I've got a so, guitar, you know. Yeah, this is it. I mean, um, it's, it's a brave thing that I, I mean, some people would say, obviously, what you do is already a brave thing because you are just you're self reliant and there's a lot of pressure potentially yeah, yeah. on it going wrong or you doing stuff. And also, with the kind of stuff that you're singing about, we talked about again this earlier, um, earlier in the day, we were talking about obviously, you know, the timing. Now, no, we don't talk about obviously sort of like I'm sort of like you know loops specific BPM yeah, yeah. and things like that. You're with with with, with certain choruses for like the folk yeah, yeah. and stuff. It could be faster or slower yeah. um, than the verse. You know, so it's 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 got to be, I suppose, fluid. It's it's, it's more like usually what happens is I'm more likely to. Um, when you're when you're using a guitar as a looper and you are looping in the verse as well, yeah, as opposed to the stuff where I'm doing, where I'm looping in in the response part and the chorus part, but not in the bulk of the verse, mm. is you've now got four bars, a fixed four bars or whatever length of time that may be, yeah, in which to sing all the words for the verse. Yes, right. Now I'm I sing a song called um, I'm not going to bother looping it, so don't don't worry. I sing a song called "Let Union Be in All Our Hearts." Right. Yeah, yeah. And the first verse, um, "Come lads, let us be jolly, drive away all melancholy, for to grieve it is a folly. Oh, and we're met together, let union." I'm not going to bother with the chorus. Okay. Second verse traditionally goes king solomon in all his glory tells each wife a different story and our cups will give him glory when we're met together which is slightly misogynistic so as i sing it king solomon in all his glory tells each wife a different story in our cups will well we'll disapprove of that oh when we're met together <laughs> and yeah. and if i'm stuck in the there. four bars yeah, you can't do that. i can't do that yeah. And there's there's a um <laughs> um pass grab the bottle as it passes, do not fail to fill your glasses. Water drinkers are excellent people. Oh, and we're met together <laughs> rather than dull asses, which is in the original. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that sort of thing. It's a performance is, is, of it. it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. almost acting. You want point. some sort yeah. of push and pull yeah. in that. So I have that freedom. And that's part of the freedom of being an unaccompanied singer. Yeah, of course right. it is. Yeah. You know, that that if unless, I want to put if it was a band who were doing this, it'd have to be yeah, yeah. incredibly well. Incredibly rehearsed. tight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Whereas in, in this situation, if I want to put five beats in that bar, yeah, or three beats in that one, I can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whereas when you're, you know, you've got you've got the thing bashing out that rhythm. Yeah. And and there are tricks to be this fair, is though, not, to, to answer that, I mean not to, to defend the looper. Well, hang on, this is there is a there is a there is a way to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um but you'd you'd have to you'd, you'd you'd have to stop the loop at a yeah. certain point, and then you couldn't bring it back in until you until back you're back on the one. Yeah, yeah, one. yeah. So, but but, you, you, but then again, you're losing something. But but and, and thing is, I'm not in saying that. That's mm. my performance preference. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I think it's fucking magnificent that tight bands mm. are tight and do yeah. that thing, and tight loopers are tight, and that that four bar thing is. I I 
I find it hard to be wedded to that grid. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. But that's not to say I don't admire the people who do and are and can do that. Yeah. Um, you know, you can play a bloody instrument, mate. That's that's, that's <laughs> yeah, you know, that's you, you can accompany yourself on that damn piano. It's it's I'm I'm like yeah. I've got I've got this. Which, and, which which again, it's one of those things just obviously so you're aware that you know, you're going out there with a looper, you're going out there with a, a microphone and my, you know, there's a party. There's a party piece I do, which is called "Hey." It's actually like an older loop a bit. It's still heavily like looped and it's heavily yeah, yeah. metronomed. But basically, like it's all a cappella. Now, a cappella is yeah. one thing, but actually doing it as a sort of um, you know traditional folk. Yeah, yeah. Um, the and bringing almost I know it sounds corny, but bringing modern technology yeah, into yeah. that. Yeah. You're using it. It's going to be as, interesting taking it to a folklore for the first time. I have to say. I think I think you're going to have <laughs> raised eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. At the same time, you're not you're not doing where you're going. <laughs> no, you no. Know, you're not you're not modernizing one, it that way. There's one there's song one with that, yeah. and, you, and you heavily re- reverb it anyway. Yeah, yeah. So you you're using this in a different way where um, I can imagine if you saw it on 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 stage where it wasn't a looper where you're singing and then someone else walks on stage behind yeah, yeah. you and starts singing the harmonies and the harmonies yeah, yeah. and you're just building harmonies. I, there is someone I sing harmonies with right. and we, we, we are rehearsing to go out as a duo, right. which will probably be a far more acceptable thing in a folk club setting. <laughs> um, I think there'll be raising eyebrows like, what's he plugging in his eyes? Yeah, 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 for? absolutely. Right. It's, it's, <laughs> and, and most folk clubs don't have a PA, so there's yeah, no yeah. point in bringing this unless yeah. I brought my own PA and then they really would look askance at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's... it's your little one. But I've, you know, I, when I, I used to live in London and I used to go to folk clubs and I used to go to open mics and I used to love the look on an engineer's face when you go out and you say, what do you need? I said, well, just give me a microphone. So yeah. have you got your backing tape? Nah, just give me a microphone. Bit of, bit of compression, minimal over, minimal reverb, please. I'll be all right. <laughs> he looks at me and goes, what? Yeah. <laughs> Because you're so used to the alternative. Yeah, you're so used to the alternative. That's it. Absolutely. And then I'll bust out something that's, that's older than the pub we're singing it in. Yeah. You know, it's just... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And the thing I found was, was actually, um, weirdly, I'm, I get a better response in an open mic to singing a 20-verse yeah. traditional ballad than I would singing the same song in a folk club a lot of the time. Because yeah, so in a folk club, they think they're used to it. They, they, yeah. It's like, oh, right, oh, God, he's doing a long ballad. Whereas in um, an open mic, they've never heard the story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's it. They, they're listening to everyone play Wonderwall. And, the, yeah. and, those, and, those, and those big old ballads, they, they, they are... Um, it's more impressive that you remember all the words. If but, uh, just, 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 you know, just learn the fucking words. It's not hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> this is this is you, if you've been in chat with me and JP when when I'm on GP you'll you'll have heard me telling to learn the words, um, but but those big old ballads they they are telling stories but they are telling stories that could in a lot of the cases could have been taken from yesterday's headlines or yeah. or that last week's episode of EastEnders yeah, yeah. and and then you'll occasionally get a verse that just, you're going are these people alien <laughs> it's yeah. just just what. Yeah. But a lot of the time, it's hundreds of years old, and it's it's telling the same. It's telling stories about the same emotions yeah. that yeah. we we deal with Today. day in day out. Yeah. And ballads tend to, you know, popular song tends to deal with love and jealousy and loss. Mm. Really, yeah. Yeah. you're kind of like that's the beat to those. Yeah, yeah. Ballads can be anything, mate. You just you know, oh right, yeah. Let's let's have the story of the girl who um, who hears about the chap in the forest who people don't you don't women shouldn't go there because because if they don't if they go there they won't come back with their maidenhead and so she fucks off and comes back without her maidenhead and a pregnancy and then she runs back into the forest to get some abortifacient meets up with him and he says, darling, give us a hand because I need to escape the queen of fairy or I'll be sent to hell tonight, and then. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, she goes off at midnight, and he changes in. They, the, she grabs him off his horse, and the fairies change him into lions and tigers and bears wow. and white hot bars of iron, and finally back into a human. And she's running from the queen of fairies, and then the queen of fairies curses him spectacularly. When you was mine, I should have plucked out your eyes and put into eyes of wood. And and it's just, <laughs> and it's thirty verses. Wow. And I'll tell you, what, I've sung that in 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 open mics, and people have been wrapped. Just going, 
fuck happens next? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is why I think all the all the sort of like this like the biggest things that like are coming out on TV and stuff. Yeah, yeah. These big long stories that yeah, are coming yeah. from actual books and stuff. Um, mm. We're gonna have to wrap up. On I think we probably time. should. Why? What time is it? Um, we're kicking on half four now. Oh um, yeah. So um, you've got a long journey back. I've got a long drive back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so would you like to end the live st- session with a song? Oh yeah. Why not? Um, okay. Probably not that one about. No, no not the no. thirty verse one. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple of things before you go um well obviously um we i've told you before obviously this live stream is sponsored but the other thing i just wanted to talk to you very quickly about um is um not luby pro but um my boss rc500 course now the rc500 is a two-track looper which is a traditional i'm going to call it traditional looper now yeah, yeah. um uh for, floor based looper and uh, i've been nice asked lo- loads nephew. of times are you doing a course about it and i have and it is now out I still have the 15% discount on there. It's going to be on there until the end of January. And the reason for that is because there's a couple of episodes that I've not completed yet. That was due to being sick over the over the festive period. It put me back a couple of weeks for editing. Um, so um, because of that, obviously, you can obviously get the RC500 course. And if you are interested, obviously, in what Pierce is doing, go and see Pierce's channel. His, his, his channel is linked in the description box. Um, and obviously, he is live every Friday at 8 p.m. ish. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm usually pretty mustered on being okay, on at 8, 8 p.m. At 8 if p.m. I'm not live at 8 p.m., I'm probably not going to be live. <laughs> there we go. So there we go. So obviously, just want to say a massive thank you as well for you to come. Thanks for over. having me. It's been great fun. Of course, it's been great fun. Um, and you're going to come on a Zoom session at some yeah, point. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. We'll yeah, yeah. So we'll get that sorted. Um, and then obviously, uh, I think we need, uh, at, at some point in the future, we need another meetup. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll go somewhere. You can show off how you loop. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> off, uh, I can show that on your channel if you want. There you yeah. go. Um, so. Thank you very much for watching the live stream. Um, we're going to end the live stream with a song. Yeah, no loops either. No loops either. <laughs> I'm going to turn my mic off. As I rose up at break of day, all from beside my true love, I heard a blackbird sing his song, as beautiful as new love. There's not a court in all the world Has heard a sound so rich And ne'er a song has ever been sung That has such perfect pitch As I walked out this autumn morn Just as the sun was rising And all the world with dew was hung and the trees like silver shining. There's not a court in all the world has treasures fair as these, and ne'er a diamond shone so bright as sunlight through the trees. And later on this autumn day, I saw a tree fire burning, the leaves like flames of red and gold. They set my heart a yearning. And then I heard another song from deep within my heart, awaiting just one touch of love before it made a start. After love I ask of life Just one simple thing Pray never let me see the day That will not let me sing That's the Blackbird by Dave Webber. Thank you so very much. That's fantastic. <laughs> Um, guys, thank you very much for the, watching the live stream. Obviously, thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Well. Oh, you're welcome. You're yeah. welcome. Um, if you have, if you're watching on the replay, give this a thumbs up. Give him a thumbs up. That's been fantastic. Mm. Um, and uh, it's just great to have Pierce on the live stream. Thank you. It's very been much. a pleasure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys, we're going to leave it there, and um, we're going to be back next week, and we will see you very, very, very soon. Um, we've got a couple of videos coming out this week as well uh, for a couple of new things. Um, so stay tuned and. Where has that gone? Right at the very end. I can't find the thing that I'm using. There it is. Bye! Bye!
<laughs> Love it.